Hello guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again now today we've got a handheld device that we're going to be looking at um, and we're going to be doing a follow-up video soon about comparing it with another handheld device so stay stay subscribed for that but guys sit back relax and enjoy this one because it's going to be an interesting one and it's going to be quite unique in the channel so as you can already tell i had to open it up just to double check that it's inside um because i was just very excited but i did just semi resealed it guys you know how it is um so this is a grade a model just want to tell you that beforehand um and there was a few things on the listing so this was bought from curry's clearance on ebay uh, they have their own outlet store for warehouse items um, and grade a said that it will come with a box like its original box and all the other original accessories so let's see how true that is uh, so let's just remove this as i really did in the past <laughs> um, and i found it very interesting it the, so just unboxing the item i'm going to take it out for you guys um, his, so as you can tell, it's an ROG Ally. Um, very interesting because they said it was going to come in an original box. This is not the original box. Where is the original box for a grade A item? So let's just put that to the side for a second and let's just check what else came in the box. So I can see the flap and I can see that the charger accessories are all here but they said it was going to come in a box um so already not a great start by by curries uh in my opinion um let's just get that sealed off and shove it to the side over there so let's just bring the ally back into focus here so let's get the ROG ally out of this packaging um, I'm hoping I can put it up from here, or is it a bit... Oh, it's, it's way more convenient to put it up from this side, maybe? Not quite sure what's going on here. It seems to be stuck somewhere. Let's just see if I can pull it out. Oh, it's because the packaging itself has kind of gone in. I don't want to rip this just in case. I have to do that in return, but... Oh. Got the item out and it comes in a little bag so again this is not what they had said they would do for a grade a item so we've got this little leaflet of sort just to say the batteries should be disposed correctly it's just as normal safety letter that comes with like with i guess electronics now the screen itself looks immaculate it looks in very, very good, pristine condition, right here. Now, this is an Ally. This isn't the Ally X. And the reason I didn't go for the Ally X is it's pretty much the same, but just a bigger battery life um, and more RAM. And I don't think I need something like that. Um, you can see the ports right here. So it uses a unique port system. As I just saw, so I guess I'm, let me just have a look at the charger. The charger just oh, so the charger is USB C. I wonder what this is. I actually don't know what this is, but there's an SD card slot right here. Headphone jack, volume rockers, the power button right here, and then you've got your your back M1 and M2 keys right here. So very excited compared, and and also I've got a Steam Deck that I'd wanna. The comparison but, but let's just see if there's any juice in the machine i don't think there is any juice let me plug this in and then we'll go from there so plug the usb c cable in and let's just press the power button and see what we get i'm not sure if i'm meant to be pressing it harder or not but so far on maybe it needs just a little bit of charge before I can turn on. I'm not fully sure. Um, 
Oh, there you go. I think I just need a little bit of charge. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the lights are glowing. Yeah, it looks really nice. The RGB lighting. And people said this is the best handheld device you can get. Um, and we're gonna put we'll put that to test in another video with the Steam Deck. So we'll see how that goes. But it's just booting. And again, guys, I'm not gonna be doing a, a game test or anything like that in this video. We're gonna be looking at that in another video. Um, I just wanted to do an unboxing and just show you guys I got this piece of tech. Stay subscribed, you're gonna be seeing a lot of things in the future. So you can see right here, thumbsticks, everything is working perfectly. So it seems that the right stick is used as a mouse, the left is used as the normal up, up and down. So let's just press a, I guess, yep, yeah, so it works similar to what Xbox controller is. Yep, England, uh, yes, United Kingdom, no, I do not. And then it's talking about Wi Fi. So, guys, let me get past all of this setup phase and then we'll move on to the next step. So, guys, just something interesting you can do touch screen. You know, on on this and obviously I'm not surprised that you can but it's just cool to see that they have this type of features available which is you know you don't get to see that often so yeah guys something else I wanted to show you you actually have a fingerprint sensor here which is incredible It is a bit fiddly though, but it works. It's I actually never knew this. I've not watched any ROG Ally videos. Um, so I'm actually very surprised myself that they have something like this. Oh, it's doing a little remix. So yeah, that's actually exceptionally cool. I never knew that. But I thought I'd just show you guys while I'm setting it up. So just want to show you that even on the ROG Ally, it actually does all everything on the system itself. So it's saying your updates in progress will take it from here. So it's updating Windows 11 on our handheld. But guys, again, it's it's incredible that they've done something like this. Um, and with Windows on a handheld device, you have so many more opportunities um, for gaming. I mean, Steam Deck is obviously fantastic because you've got Steam OS and Steam itself that you can utilize. But Window, with Windows, you can do Rockstar Launcher, you can do so many launchers, etc. So I'm excited and I can't wait to show you the gaming test video between the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. And maybe we might have one more contender. And guys, we have made it. We have now made it to the home screen. So let's just see. So use your right analog stick to move around. What do any of these buttons do? Oh, that opens up the the armor crate, which is not what we wanted. So I'm not sure how to close. Oh, we just press it again. What does this do? Nothing. What does this do? Oh, this brings up command center. I guess this is ROG's turbo control mode, game profiles, keyboard, shade desktop. Interesting. And then you can just tap in and out. What do I do? Any other buttons at the back? Do anything? No. Nope. Interesting. So we're now on the home screen. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on this, guys. But it's actually really nice and comfortable to hold. Um, and I love it as much as my Steam Deck. I think right now, I will have a follow-up video where it compares gaming on this and the Steam Deck, and then I'll give you guys my ultimate winner. But guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was really fun to actually get this device. Let's just see, it's still, I mean, it is, it is quite warm. Um, it was quite interesting to get this device. And I'm, I'm hoping to um, make more videos on this. So like and subscribe guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.